Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-1055. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1055 is an info hazard. Information in this document is presented strictly on a need-to-know basis for containment personnel. Accessing additional information requires level 5 approval and accepts the risk of creating a containment breach. SCP-1055's living quarters are accessible via subterranean monorail from Site-77. Two personnel responsible for providing care to SCP-1055 are to be rotated in every 8 hours for 24-hour observation. SCP-1055's living quarters contain a playroom with television, futon and sound system, a washroom, a library stocked with children's books, and a kitchen. Staff are encouraged to provide any meal which SCP-1055 asks for within appropriate nutritional guidelines. If current supplies do not meet requirements, substitutions of pasta or sugary cereals are commonly accepted. SCP-1055 will fixate upon a random object, currently a teddy bear referred to as Bugsy, and clutch it tightly at all times. Staff must allow and encourage this behavior, even during bathing and feeding. SCP-1055 may vocalize unhappiness or deliver warnings on behalf of this object. Any requests concerning this object must be met by all possible means available. Containment of SCP-1055 depends primarily on both its isolation and positive social attitude. In the event of catastrophe, staff are to evacuate and flood the living quarters with nitrous oxide. Under no circumstances is any physical harm to be done to SCP-1055, even and especially if it becomes hostile. Additional information. Delete or destroy after reading as per HP 5810 regarding forbidden knowledge disposal. Containment of SCP-1055 depends primarily upon the health and well-being of its caretaker, D-1055. Due to SCP-1055's extreme reactions to human perception, successful containment requires that staff on site be misdirected to believe that D-1055 is the anomalous entity himself. D-1055 is of diminished mental faculty, but aware of the importance of his service in keeping Bugsy safe in his arms. D-1055 has thus far presented the only viable means of containing SCP-1055 without massive loss of personnel and resources. Level 4 personnel who oversee containment of SCP-1055 are not allowed within 50 kilometers of Site-77, nor may they directly interact with any personnel tasked with its maintenance. Description SCP-1055 is formerly Michael Schroeder of Douglas, Wyoming. He is a Caucasian male, 6 foot 4 inches tall and 280 pounds, 29 years of age and suffers from Autistic Spectrum Disorder and Down Syndrome. SCP-1055 may be addressed as 1055, Mikey, or any nickname which he suggests. Despite classification as an anomaly, staff are encouraged to address SCP-1055 with normal social pronouns in documentation and conversation. Additional information. Delete or destroy after reading as per HP 5810 regarding forbidden knowledge disposal. Under normal conditions, SCP-1055 superficially resembles a specimen of Ursuis Arctos horribilis. However, its volume, mass, and morphology shift spontaneously. The means by which SCP-1055 gains and loses mass is not understood but it appears to be in relation to the number and proximity of individuals who are aware of SCP-1055 and the nature of the attention it receives from them. Hostile or fearful awareness of SCP-1055 increases its size and hostility significantly more than benign awareness, but due to SCP-1055's violent nature, even a calm awareness of its existence can quickly spiral into a potential containment breach as the danger it presents escalates and exposes itself to more individuals. In the event of a catastrophic exposure to human awareness, SCP-1055 will quickly be overwhelmed by its own size and will no longer be able to effectively move at will. 
However, it will continue to grow and produce sensory organs and appendages which are used to assault any living creature within reach. Even in confined or subterranean locations, SCP-1055's growth can exert enough pressure to cause tremors and massive structural failure, and pieces of the biomass are capable of growing through and widening gaps or cracks of any size. Apart from its mass generation, SCP-1055 possesses no special ability to resist trauma. Portions of SCP-1055's biomass that are removed via trauma do not regenerate or continue living independently. However, about 75% of any hostile action taken against SCP-1055 to date has failed to destroy more of the organism than the very act itself generated. Even in circumstances where the trauma was applied remotely via bombing or automated defenses. No upper limit to the size or lethality of SCP-1055's biomass has been established during containment breaches and exposure to civilians and unscreened personnel. The only event which has ever been shown to effectively reduce SCP-1055 in size is the death of at least 80% of the individuals aware of its existence. Amnestics of any class are not sufficient to eliminate awareness. Total elimination of SCP-1055 is hypothesized to require the extermination of all previously exposed individuals, including the O5 Council itself and anyone who is reading this document. It, it is the O5 Council's unanimous opinion that a failure to properly restrain SCP-1055 could quickly spiral into an XK-class scenario if its existence became publicly known. Addendum. Containment procedures adapted from captured Group of Interest intelligence. The Group of Interest was unsuccessfully researching attempts to destroy SCP-2055, which led to its escape and subsequent... Access additional information. Delete or destroy after reading, as per HP 5810, regarding forbidden knowledge disposal. Current procedure was adopted following SCP 1055's 12th containment breach, which resulted in sustained precision bombing upon former Site 76 and the loss of all personnel within. With the exception of D 1055, previously classified D 492291, See Form 105546 regarding termination exemption. Double-blind recovery teams found D-1055 alone in the rubble, clinging to the shredded remains of SCP-1055 as a security blanket. It is hypothesized that D-1055 lacks the full capability to understand Bugsy's true nature, and that as his awareness of SCP-1055 is obsessively protective and affectionate, he is not capable of triggering the escalating growth and hostility that normal human interaction with SCP-1055 produces. According to interviews with containment personnel, it appears that SCP-1055 itself either currently lacks the body and muscle mass to resist D-1055, or it simply lacks the will to resist. The majority of personnel have been successfully convinced that SCP-1055 is a poorly sown if disturbingly realistic stuffed animal. Any movement or other indications to the contrary have been attributed to D-1055's supposed anomalous nature. I don't care that this arrangement has worked out the best out of all the previously scrapped containment schemes. It is not sustainable in the long run to ask a mentally challenged man to keep the end of the world at bay with hugs. We need a long-term solution preferably orbital or oceanic, to keep exposure to human awareness at an absolute minimum. 0510. Tell Mikey that we're taking Bugsy away, and we're facing a brand new containment breach. I recommend doing so in person. That would be at least one less person who knows about this thing. 055. Via Protocol 12, we are already recruiting in plenty of mentally challenged individuals for Keter work. We're grooming future candidates to inherit D-1055's duties and to act as a backup if the worst happens. Argue all you want for putting it in the sky where anyone can see it. This is the cheaper and safer option by far. 057
This concludes today's lecture. Thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Zargaran, Jack Wall, O Crap Guy, James Saba, Lost Boy, Signar, your local foundation agent, Zazapan, Worthy Fire, Cupster, Dean Dingus, Mr. Duchuk, Oscurovision, Grimnir, Extra Moments 123, and Swift Raw. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.